Wellesley's Fullerbrook Park is having work done. The two and a half mile linear park, developed more than 100 years ago and listed on the National Register of Historic Places, was long overdue for a facelift. Planning and design work began five years ago on the Brook Path, as it's commonly known because it follows the stream paths of Caroline and Fuller Brooks. Construction started in mid-2014 and is expected to last three years. In November 2015, the town celebrated completion of the first phase from Washington Street and Magus Avenue to Payne Street. It was a milestone for those who've been involved with the project for many years. It really truly is a park. The areas on each side of the path, the area around the, the stream that has now been cleaned out of some invasives, has new plantings, more native plantings coming in, and it will be an area that really can be visually enjoyed as well as provide ease for transportation throughout town. Notable improvements now make the park safe and accessible for everyone. Granite bollards with a logo designed by a town resident mark the path. Wellesley police officers have stepped up bike patrols in the area. The pathway itself is wider and universally accessible, with a less than 5% grade and curb cuts at all road crossings. The surface is dense graded crushed stone. It's compactable, easy to maintain, and allows for wheelchairs, strollers, and handicapped walkers. Two bioretention basins, basically large rain gardens, collect stormwater runoff from the surrounding areas, filtering that water before it flows into Caroline Brook and substantially improving water quality. These areas are planted with native plants that like their feet wet. They like to be near wet areas. They don't mind if they get inundated and their roots are, you know, soaked for days at a time in the water. And they're very hardy and self-sufficient. Jackson, a landscape architect who's been part of the project since the planning stages, says some of the most important improvements include work done to restore the stream bed. There, rock structures help create a more diverse stream with deeper pools and shallow bars to support insects, amphibians, and even fish. There's the opportunity to really restore and enhance the ecology of the stream and the stream banks and therefore the entire park. Contractors work with the town's consultants and project management team to improve the health of the land, shoring up stream banks to prevent erosion, and replacing invasive, non-native plants with more than 100 different species of native trees, shrubs, perennials, and grasses. One of the more noticeable improvements is the area between Seaver and Forest Street. Here, project engineers moved the stream course over by a number of feet and opened up what used to be a small dirt path into a larger park-like area. Three new raised boardwalks along Payne Street, built with recycled plastic materials, mark the end of Section 1 just before Wellesley High School and allow easy access to a wetland area that used to be dark and always damp. It's a way that requires little maintenance, that is very durable for the long term, yet can span and allow the water to flow through that wetland area like it always has. Jackson and Campbell credit the Fullerbrook Park neighbors for helping the project go smoothly. Neighbors were gracious and uh, patient, and we're pleased to be able to really return their neighborhood to them and thank them uh, for uh, putting up with <laughs> the, the, the construction part of it. Work has now moved to the next two sections, extending from the high school past State Street Pond near the football field and down Fuller Brook to beyond Wellesley Avenue. It will continue throughout the winter months, hopefully with the blessing of Mother Nature. The final section ending at Dover Road is slated for completion in 2017. And then, the town's premier historic open space will be ready for its close-up. <laughs> <laughs>